Hello, it's FireGameWay12 here, and I just wanted to do a quick little video on something I've never seen anyone really talk about on the internet, and that is DOS viruses running on PC98. Now, at this point, honestly, a lot of people are very familiar with IBM PCs running DOS viruses, but PC98? Well, PC98, as you can see, runs MS-DOS as well. And PC98 hardware does share some similarities with IBM PC. For example, Intel CPUs, like 486, Pentiums, etc. were used on the series. And also various other things like IDE hard drives, 3.5 inch high density floppy disks, so on and so forth. However, there are a number of differences with the architecture that make it incompatible with most software that you'd run on an IBM PC. Some DOS software like PKZip will work on PC98, but the vast majority will not. Like, for example, you cannot run IBM PC DOS games on a PC98 at all. But anyway, I'm gonna showcase two DOS viruses running on PC98. The first one's gonna be RTL. And it doesn't seem like anything's happened, but if I try to delete the file, you get to see the virus's main payload. It doesn't let you delete fucking anything. Pretty great, right? Anyway, let's see what com files are in here. Let's uh, do tree first. As you can see, it's 6,885 bytes. If I run it, it runs the program. But if I look at tree now, as you see, it has grown to 7,690. So both the payload and the file infection works on PC98, as you can see. I don't remember if this virus infects exe files. I guess let's find out. Let's try infecting Starfire here. And quickly go into the game. This is not actually to play the game, let's just see if it actually infected it. So star sf.exe is 8720 bytes. Let's see what it's actually supposed to be really quick, hold on. Okay, the original file size was also 80,720 bytes, so I guess this doesn't infect .exe files, but... It definitely infects .com. Let's do command.com here, which is 54,988. Check that again. It has grown. And now, if I restart the computer, can we delete anything? Let's remove Starfire, because it's a terrible, terrible game. Except it isn't, but whatever. Nope. It's not happening. So anyways, let's move to the next virus. Okay, so let's run the final virus here, which is Skynet. We execute the file and it doesn't appear to do anything. However, if we go to Starfire and run the game, it crashes. Okay. Well, if you look at the file, as you can see, it's definitely grown from the 80,720 that it's originally supposed to be, but I guess Skynet infected it in such a way that it just doesn't run again. So let's not do that anymore. Let's run Skynet again, and we'll infect SPVGM, and not crash? I guess so. Anyway, really cool program, check it out. But there seems to be a bit of a side effect. When it's infected, it only plays one VGA, and if you try to play another one, it crashes. So let's look at the file size here. This is 144,600 bytes. What's the original file size supposed to be? The original size is 143,144 bytes, so definitely infected. But anyways, the actual payload of the Skynet virus occurs randomly when you execute the, um, well, virus. So let's just run it a bunch of times. Up, oh, you see here is where it's supposed to be doing the payload, but it's just just hung the machine. I guess because it just depends on certain hardware-related things that are different on PC98, different enough to where this doesn't work. 
I'll put up the payload here on the screen if you're curious. That actually represents most of my experience with running DOS viruses on PC98. The first one you saw was the only one that worked perfectly. Every other one I tried was at best like Skynet in that the file infection part works but the payload doesn't. I'm not entirely sure if there are PC98 specific DOS viruses that actually use its graphics hardware and such. They may exist but I've certainly never seen them and if they do they've been very poorly documented indeed compared to IBM PC intended viruses. Okay I just realized they have to exist because PC98 DOS 6.2 does include a virus antivirus program called I believe Virus Buster so there's that so yeah that's about it hopefully you found this interesting and uh thanks for watching